Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ninja. Today we're going to be going over how to use multiple Ashes of War on the same build. So, for backstory, when you're looking at your Ashes of War, one thing to remember is that whatever is in your right hand is going to be the Ash that you're using. So, if you're two-handing it, you're going to be using the Ash. If you just have it in the right hand with a left-hand weapon, you're also going to be using it, right? So, on the right-hand weapon, I have the Bloodhound step. It's a really good ash for mobility and just being really kitey. And on the left, I have the Dragon King's Crag Blade, which is a, a really high damaging ash of war. So I can use mobility and then swap to a high damaging ash of war when I want to. And the same goes for um, the second right hand weapon, which is the Bloodhound's Fang, which is another really good um, high damage ash of war. So, my just a quick thing. To go over um, this is something I do that I don't think other people really do I have my right weapon swap on L3 problem I find with this game is that if you want to swap to that back weapon the uh, bloodhounds fang that we just talked about you have to press right on the d-pad and when you're doing that that means you can't physically move around so if I want to swap my left weapon I have to like stop moving for a second and then swap but if you have it on L3 you can do it while walking and you know, if we had a mouse and keyboard, we wouldn't really have to worry about that. But since everybody plays on a controller mostly, that's something to worry about. So, that's just a little tip if you want it or not. So what I do, it helps me out. So, how to use multiple Ashes of War. We're going to first start out with your main Ash of War, which is the Bloodhound Dash. So, how I use my other Ashes of War when I'm using the Dash, is that when I'm exiting the Dash itself, I hold L2. I hold triangle and I press L1. So this two hands your left weapon and while you're two handing your left weapon, you have access to its Ash of War. So for instance, it'll look something like this. You can press L2 immediately after you two hand your weapon and just start getting into your Ash of War instantly. Now, if I'm two handing my left hand weapon and all of a sudden there's a bunch of people on me, do I want my step or do I want my Bloodhound Greatsword? And how do I get to either one of those Ashes of War? If I press L3, which is right hand bar swap, it's going to stop two handing my left weapon and swap to my right hand weapon. And we know that your Ash of War in the right hand is the Ash of War that you're using. So, if we want to do this like really fast, you could swap L2. And all of a sudden you have access to that ash. Or, let's say that you're two-handing and you want your bloodhound step. Just hold triangle, press R1, and then get back to your bloodhound dash. Now, if you also want to go to your bloodhound greatsword out of a dash, all you have to do is just press your right bar swap at the end of the dash animation. Like that. And so... You can technically combine this with more weapons, like say I wanted a black knife in the left. So then I could go like this and then have this in the left hand and when I don't want it, just two hand it, press the ash and then keep going about my day. But I find three is a lot more manageable in total. You could technically have six and you know nothing stopping you from doing the menu swapping as you're playing, but I find this is just smoother. And, you know, it keeps my few options that I have um, readily available where I don't have to go do a bunch of extra shit. Alright, so another thing to keep in mind, um, usually the right hand ash rule works, but if you have something that has a uh, L2 ability, like this crossbow, this, this works with crossbows and um, shields that have the parry skill on them. Other weapons, you don't need to worry about it. Like, if you have this in the left hand, you don't have to worry about it. Or this or this, or this, but for crossbows and shields, you need to look out for parry and um, just a secondary fire function, because if I go and press L2 right now, I'll be trying to fire my secondary bolts, and if I press L2 right now, I'll be parrying instead of bloodhound dashing. So, if you guys found this video helpful, let me know by dropping a like, and consider subscribing, and see you guys.